I think the bigger question is how I've stayed in the movement because I know that's something that people think about a lot and it's been 20 plus years at this point well over 20 years I should say and I think the stories of survivors when I worked as a counselor really stayed with me and also the feeling when I would go to the hospital um, when there was a rape and I would go to do hospital accompaniment that feeling of what can I do to make this stop what, what can I do to change, um, to, to stop sexual violence from happening, really started to percolate within me. And I think I really, at that time, I, the movement was talking more about prevention and specifically primary prevention. And so I really had the opportunity to explore like what, what can we do as a society and a community that this work I'm doing is really valuable with individual rape survivors, but also what can we be doing on a larger scale to help to prevent sexual violence. So I think um, just that evolution from working with individual people, um, having the benefit of their story, but then also wanting to see what I could do differently and what we as a society could do differently. Be patient. Um, change will happen. It sometimes happens in micro steps at a snail's pace. Even though we want it to happen um, in, uh, we want it to happen in a, in a snap, in a second. But it takes a little bit longer and it does need patience. And everything you do every day contributes to that change. And one day you're gonna look over your shoulder and see that the world is completely different than it was a year ago or five years ago or 10 years ago. And the work you do is really valued, so thank you.